In this example, we are asked to use the operations and the value of the variable to create new equivalent equations. Equivalent equations are different equations that have the same solution. So in this exercise, we will be determining four different equations that have a solution of x equals seven. So we begin with x equals seven, and the first operation is divide by six. To create an equivalent equation to x equals seven, we must perform the operation to both sides of the equation, and therefore the first step is to divide both sides of this equation by six, which gives us x divided by six equals seven divided by six, or seven six. Nothing simplifies. This is our first equivalent equation. This equation has a solution of x equals seven. The next operation is add seven, so now we take this equation and add seven to both sides of the equation, which gives us x divided by six plus seven equals seven six plus seven. I now need to find the sum on the right. Let's work this out down below. We have seven six plus seven, or seven over one. The least common denominator is six. We need to write seven over one as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of six by multiplying the numerator and denominator by six. This gives us seven six plus 42 six, which is equal to 49 six. So the second equivalent equation is x divided by six plus seven equals 49 six. The next operation is multiply by negative four. So now we multiply both sides of the equation by negative four. This gives us the quantity x divided by six plus seven times negative four equals 49 six times negative four. Now looking at the left side of the equation, we normally don't leave it in this form. We use the commutative property of multiplication to change the order of this multiplication and write this as negative four times the quantity x divided by six plus seven. And on the right side, we need to find this product. Let's work this out below. We have 49 six times negative four or negative four over one. Before multiplying, notice how we can simplify because four and six share a common factor of two. There are two twos in four and three twos in six. And now when we multiply, we have 49 times negative two, which is negative 98, all over three times one or three, which means the third equivalent equation is negative four times the quantity x divided by six plus seven equals negative 98 thirds. And the last operation is subtract three. So now we take this equation and subtract three on both sides. This gives us negative four times the quantity x divided by six plus seven minus three equals negative 98 thirds minus three. We will leave the left side of the equation as it is, but we need to find the difference on the right. We have negative 98 thirds minus three or minus three over one. The least common denominator is three. We multiply the numerator and denominator of three over one by three. This gives us negative 98 thirds minus nine thirds, which is equal to negative 107 thirds. So the final equivalent equation is negative four times the quantity x divided by six plus seven minus three equals negative 107 thirds. All these equations are equivalent equations because all have a solution of x equals seven. I hope you found this helpful.